Well, good evening. I'm Tracy Hollis, and I'm the president of Our Lady Fishers here at Fishers of Men Lutheran Church. So it's my pleasure to welcome you to our special modified 20 Advent by Candlelight. As you can see, we're not sitting at tables with beautifully decorated decorations. We are not going to have a dessert tonight. You do have a lovely dessert in your gift bag, though. But you know, after I thought about it, it's not about the tables. It's not about the dessert. It's about preparing our hearts for this Advent season, for the birth of our Savior, Jesus. Uh, we do have a very special program titled Pilgrimage of Adoration, so we're going to be adoring uh, the coming of Christ. Uh, we have 12 beautifully uh, uh, gift baskets that we're going to be uh, drawing for, so I hope all of you had time to get your coupons for that. We'll be drawing for that shortly. We're also recording the event, so any of your friends or family that aren't here can watch it later uh, in the next day or so. If you go to Fishers of Men website, you'll find it there. So we're grateful for that. Uh, so I would like to thank you for joining us for this special evening to begin our Advent season. So I would like to invite our pastor, Pastor Braun, to come and give a greeting and to open us with prayer. Thank you, Pastor. Good evening. Merry Christmas. I found out, I, I opened the uh, lay ministers meeting on Zoom and found out that uh, apparently it's set up so that I have to admit them. So I, I got, I'm getting a bunch of texts from those guys and I said, well, it's easier to make you guys wait than it is to make the ladies wait. So, um, you know, I, I, love the, I love the theme pilgrimage to uh, Bethlehem or uh, I think it's pilgrimage of adoration, um, the whole idea of pilgrimage. I saw on a website today from, from the Dallas area a congregation that has figured out that from their um, place to Bethlehem is 13,972,000 steps. And so they're asking everybody to keep track of their steps. And anybody can go, go to the website and, and join this and log them in to see if they can get all 13,972,000 steps in um, during uh, Advent. I think you guys are taking the easier journey. <laughs> You're going to go there in spirit and in music, which is really cool. So I hope you have a great night tonight and that the Lord blesses you. It's, I know this is different. We'll be back to normal or whatever the new normal is someday, I'm sure. But just uh, enjoy the blessing of tonight. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, we gather here together with your people. And we know, Lord, that as you were once wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger, so you have been wrapped in our hearts by the Spirit. And that uh, each of us, you have been laid in our hearts by that spirit that we might believe in and walk with you. Bless the music, the rehearsing of the story. Let this be a pilgrimage of adoration, of praise, of remembering, and of, of Lord celebrating that what the season really is all about is you. In your name we pray. Amen. Have fun tonight, ladies. So, what a year it's been. It's a, been a year of quarantine, isolation, mask wearing, and I love your lovely mask tonight, hand washing, social distancing, toilet paper shortages, school closures, limited travel, loss of jobs, canceled weddings, drive-by showers and birthday parties, aging parents and grandparents that we couldn't go and visit, Funerals we couldn't attend, injustice and civil unrest, political division, and limited holiday family gatherings. I don't know about you, but I wanted to push the rewind button on 2020 many times this year. Even in this time of uncertainty, though, uh, and change, there is one thing that is certain. God has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. God has given this time, us this time to reevaluate reprioritize and re-examine the things that matter most. Our relationships with him, family, and friends have become so much more valuable to me and I'm sure to you as well. What a perfect way to end 2020 with a pilgrimage of adoration of our, of our coming Christ. 
It's an honor to welcome you to this program, this Advent by Candlelight program. So I'd like to thank, take some time to thank those that helped plan, organize, and carry this modified event uh, to completion. I'm grateful for those that donated the gift baskets that we've got. We've got some very talented ladies that did that. Our participants in the program, we've got Mary and Joseph that's going to be on stage, our musicians, our screen and sound technicians, our recording technician, those that sold tickets, um, those that organized the goodie bags that you all received tonight, uh, those that helped set up and clean up. It, it t- does take uh, many hands to do this. So I'm very grateful. So let's give every, every, all of those people a round of applause. So each of those people have generously served with gladness, and it's a joy to serve alongside these men and women. So most importantly, I wanted to thank each of you for joining us tonight to raise funds, because this is a fundraiser for mission projects. We're part of Lutheran Women's Missionary League, and so the 12 beautiful gift baskets that are going to be drawn for tonight, that, those proceeds will go for mission projects, both locally and globally. We're donating the proceeds to our Lutheran Women's Missionary League, uh, and it goes to fund grants all over the world. It's amazing the amount of uh, money that's raised to serve these people all around the world. I did want to mention one thing. I did get an email this week from Lutheran Women's uh, um, uh, Lutheran, Lutheran World Relief, excuse me. We make quilts for Lutheran World Relief, and I got the report. And in Texas alone, over 6,000, almost 6,000 quilts were made in Texas and being sent all over the world. A total of almost 20,000. Isn't that amazing? 20,000 in Texas were made. Uh, Houston, the Houston area, we, we sent, um, we, made, we made some personal care kits too. There was 4,000 of those personal care kits that were sent just from, te- just from Houston There was over 10,000 from Texas. This is just Texas. So in total, between quilts, blankets, personal care kits, school kits, baby care kits, fabric kits, there were 47,000 items that have been sent across the world. So that's the hands and hearts of many people. So yes, that, 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 that just blows me away. And that's just Texas. That's just Texas. So uh, we're, we raise funds for those mission grants, and we're also going to donate money to our preschool this year because, you know, they've got a, had a limited enrollment also, so we're glad to help them with the funds that you all have generously contributed to those gift baskets. So I want to thank, um, thank you for sharing the love of God across the world by your donations, your generous donations. So I'd also like to take this opportunity to invite you all to our ladies' retreat. It's coming up in February, so we're going to have that too. It's going to be here, and it's scheduled for February 19th through the 20th, and the theme is Worthy to Witness. So there'll be more information about that in the coming um, weeks and months. So in your care package, you'll find an invitation to all the upcoming events, the services, uh, Advent services, and our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services. So we'd love to have you join us for any or all of those. So at this time, we're going to begin our program, so I'll go ahead and ask our, our uh, actors, Mary and Joseph, to go ahead and come on stage. Uh, tonight, again, our program is titled Pilgrimage of Adoration. Tonight, you'll hear from those who adored him in ancient days and those that parallel them today. So let us come and adore him. Drop whatever you're doing. Clear your minds. Put away the shopping list, the to-do list, and all the everyday things. Tonight we will join the happy throng of those who come to kneel before our newborn king. Come, young and old, rich and poor, from all walks of life. Join in the jubilee, for a savior is born for you and for me. Come adore him, just as shepherds came on that blessed night leaving their sheep sheep, and in great awe and wonder, investigating what the angels had proclaimed. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Let's begin our pilgrimage of adoration as we join together in singing the first two verses of O Come, O Come, O Come, All Ye Faithful.
I'm not a shepherd, but I do spend many nights on the job as a nurse. In the dark quiet of the wee hours, I'd be overwhelmed if I heard the whir of angels' wings in the hospital halls. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. I'd probably drop a thermometer in my excitement. Though I'm no shepherd, I do try to adore Jesus in my profession as I care for and minister to the sick and dying. How wonderful that one quiet night long ago, God sent his son to heal our souls. mom of two girls. Having children was one of my biggest dreams, and the day my children were born was and is a blessing beyond measure. Can you imagine being Mary, being told by the angel of the Lord that she would bear the Son of God, Jesus, the Savior of the world? Do not be afraid. Mary, you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. The feeling she must have experienced, everything from fear and tribulation to joy and adoration. Can you imagine Mary gazing into Jesus' eyes after waiting expectantly for her precious child? How happy yet mystified she must have felt with this tiny, wiggly new life. He looked like other babies, but she knew he was special. Surely she adored him and was excited to show him off. Please join together in singing Away in a Manger.
you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Baby Jesus, I wish I could have been there. I would have tiptoed to his manger and kissed his sweet little forehead. His tiny hand would have tightly curled around my finger just as he holds on me today. Jesus makes me so happy. I'm so glad he loved me and came to save my soul. I've made Jesus a manger in my heart where I adore him. Please join together in singing, We Three Kings of Orient Are. saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Well, I'm not one of the three wise men, but as a teacher, I'm supposed to be wise. I hope I would have had enough faith and devotion to ride all those miles, on a camel no less, to rejoice in the birth of the most wonderful child ever born. I love children, and I feel it is a privilege to help them learn and grow. What a joy to take the hand of a child and bring him to the manger to adore the Holy Christ child. Let all wise men everywhere journey to our Savior, bearing gifts of love and praise. Please join together in singing, O Little Town of Bethlehem. song about Bethlehem. But instead of Bethlehem, we live in our little part of Texas where I practice law as an attorney in Sugarland in the greater Houston area. Sometimes I wonder if Bethlehem was as pure and holy as portrayed in that song. Sugarland and Houston have big, beautiful scarlet styes also. But we have our problems. Believe me, we all see them every day, both up close or in the news. Broken homes, drugs, petty crimes, major crimes, misery, trouble, strife, and people who just want money no matter what. But into this sin-whacked world, a Savior was born, and in Him is the answer to every problem. I praise God that in His great court of justice, He arranged for our redemption. 
For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I praise him that he is the Lord, not only of Bethlehem, but of our little part of Texas, and the hope of every town across the world. Please join in singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. God gave me a voice so the music in my soul can burst forth in sound. Have you ever wondered what it would have felt like to be one of the angel chorus the night Jesus was born? Can you imagine how wonderful it would feel to make such an announcement to the world? Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. It makes me tingle to think about being among the angels as the earth reverberated in their glad hosannas. But wondrous thought, I'm alive now, and with my own human voice, I can tell others the good news of the Savior. What an honor. What a way to adore him. So let us go and tell the world the good news. Jesus is born. Join together in singing, Go Tell It on the Mountain.
In a lowly manger, Jesus Christ was born because there was no room in the inn. Back in biblical days, the innkeeper was the motel manager of today. This is the business of hospitality of which I am a part. You may have seen that no vacancy sign during some of your travels, as Joseph and Mary did. I shudder to think that I have ever turned away the king of the world. You know what the Bible says about entertaining angels unaware. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing. As I think about it, I'd give up my own bed to the Virgin Mary to such a blessed event as the birth of a Savior. Trouble is, we are often too tired or too busy to love one another. God, forgive me for often hanging up a no-vacancy sign in my heart and crowding you out. Let me adore you as I care for, care for and serve others. We, too, have come to a manger where it all began. We join the faithful of all generations who have come to experience and celebrate the gift of God's love to all people. Let us sing with the angels, worship with the shepherds, offer our gifts to the wise men, with the wise men, and open our hearts to receive him. Come and adore him. Join together in singing the last two verses of O Come, All Ye Faithful. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. 
you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Please join me in prayer. As we have gone on this pilgrimage, let us come before our wonderful Counselor, Savior, Everlasting God, kneel before Him in our hearts and adore Him. In these days of Advent, let us praise Him in our minds, embrace Him in our hearts, adore Him with all our being. We come, Lord, we come. We come with glad hosannas and everlasting gratitude. We come with rejoicing and adoring you. Bless us as we come, and may your peace abide with us always. Amen. Let us join together in our closing song, Silent Night. As we sing, please ignite your candle and shine God's light.
concludes our evening. So thank you so much for joining us. May your hearts be prepared to shine the light of the world to our family and our friends during this Advent season. And if you'll place your candles in the basket as you exit today, tonight, that would be great. And if you're a lucky winner of one of the baskets, please make sure you pick that up. And please take your gift goodie bag with you as well as a thank you for, for your attendance tonight. So um, I want to wish you a good night and a Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming.